The move to enlighten the society on the ills of irregular migration have continued to gain momentum in recent times as government and relevant agents intensify campaigns against desperate journey through holistic approach. Recent International Organization for Migration is engaging traditional religious leaders and other critical stakeholders at a one-day sensitization event held in Benin City, the Edo State Capital. And we invited religious and traditional institutions, the leaders, to Abuja in 2019 so that the issues of human trafficking can be discussed with the mind that in their own quarters, either in the churches, either in the mosque, or either in the traditional setting, they can further talk about these issues and find lasting solution. This is a follow-up of that. And this is done in Edo now. We are just done the one in Delta. Edo is a follow-up to that. And we had brought in religious leaders. We had brought in traditional rulers or leaders. And we had brought in government partners. Talk specifically about human trafficking. It is the exploitation of, of that. But it goes beyond that. Because I've also mentioned some other aspect of uh, trafficking that is also regarded as human trafficking, like organ harvesting, child labor, forced labor, begging. So human trafficking has an expanded you know, definition, not strictly on uh, things that have to do with prostitution. But we all agree that uh, it, the menace can stop, and it, it starts from home good parenting and if all is well if all is well with you at at home no one would like to wonder about migration is not the end of the world when you migrate while you are there you have to be useful to yourself so if you don't have the education or a basic skill you you you, you know you what we look out for in say we want to look for that's to actually identify we have a precise and careful identification of a presumed victim of trafficking is necessary to protect the victim's physical safety and rights and ensure that they receive access to vital services. From the previous figure I gave, uh, from 70 to 80 percent of pre migrants are exposed to several types of exploitation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.